The UK as a whole is facing a time bomb in terms of the growing numbers of elderly, the growing numbers as a proportion of the population, and the impact of this on health and social care budgets. London Borough of Haverham faces an even greater potential problem because of the makeup of our population. We have some 50,000 people in the borough over the age of 60, which is 23% of the population, significantly higher than the London and national average. Age Concern Haverin celebrates its 60th birthday in 2009, having started life as Hornchurch Old People's Welfare Association in 1949. In this film, we're attempting to show you some of the services which the association provides for the old people of Hornchurch. Of all these services, perhaps the most important is visiting the elderly people in their homes. For those able to go out, however, old age is not something to dread, but something to enjoy, as the success of the 16 old folks clubs and centres in the district surely proves. were able to rent a hut which acted as a day centre so people would have somewhere to go. You could almost say the foundations of what is now was built then. There's a great deal more done possibly for older people um, than there was 60 years ago uh, but there were different needs then. I heard of one chap who used to walk round Woolworths to keep warm. I mean, this day and age, it doesn't seem feasible. In present day, Age Concern Haverin is still fighting hard to make sure that many more of our elderly community are able to enjoy a wide range of our services. One of the most popular of our services is providing entertainment. Hopwell House is one of the day centres that provide activities for Haverin's elderly community. Well, I don't know what some of the old people would do without it, to be honest, because um, when they come here, we give them confidence, choice, a good meal. It just gives them a better, better way of life, really. It gives them more opportunities, because then once they come here, they hear about other things, and then can go on and join other clubs and go to different things, holidays and other activities. And not only that, I think some of them, if they've had ill health, such as a stroke or maybe a heart attack, they come here very nervous, lack of confidence, but after a time they gradually join in and they, they start communicating with other people. I think they're very sort of isolated on their own when they first come, but it gives them a confidence to mix. Yeah. And everyone, the staff, the volunteers and the users are friendly. So, that, you know, they gradually settle in and after a time you just see them blossom. And that's, I think, is one of the best parts, yeah. isn't it? And we do daily activities as well. Um, we do the bowling and the whist and the bingo and the raffles. And we have an entertainment schedule. We have two speakers a month and two entertainments. So, lots of choice. Here you can see some of the many people that visit Hopwell House enjoying a right old Cockney sing song, courtesy of the Pearly Kings. The best part about Age Concern for me is the comments that the elderly people make. They're very, very good here. They are exactly good. And you meet people, you see, and you get to, to know people. We've met some good friends here. And the volunteers are, are superb. I can't speak too highly of them. They're really lovely. This old lady said to me, do you know, without Age Concern, I don't know what I'd do. She said, you really make everything that happen for us. I've been coming two and a half years. And before I came to Hopper House, I didn't want even to go out. But my children insisted that I came and tried it, and I've never stopped coming since. Age Concern Haverin is a registered charity, a member of but wholly independent from Age Concern, the Federation. Throughout the years, Age Concern Haverin has helped many elderly people overcome some of the difficulties that they face every day. We have been able to provide simple services that enable our elderly clients to live their lives without some of these fears. And not only has it been able to provide activities to combat isolation, but by bringing the elderly community together, 
we have made sure that they have been able to enjoy the company of people their own age. The one strand that applied then and applies now is older people become isolated and lonely and that in itself is something that needs to be addressed. Our charity has come a long way since 1949, though our fundamental aims remain the same, to ensure all older people in Haven receive the right support to enjoy a good quality of life and not be lonely. Today we help around 8,000 older people and their families each year across the borough with a wide range of services. But 8,000 is still a small proportion of the older population in Havering and an even smaller proportion of future numbers. Very, very difficult to say how much we do and how much still needs to be done. I think what I've always felt is the biggest problem is letting people know what we can offer. Our work will be needed even more in future years, but as a charity, we can only do what we do with your help, by giving money or your time as volunteers. With your support, together we can ensure older people in Havering need not be lonely and can enjoy their older years with dignity.